I will figure it out. Um, she passed at the age of poor, poor Becky, who is always in such ill health. And her favorite hobby was knitting. Knit me a lovely sweater for Crimbo the year before she died. Um, okay. So. 1, 2, 18, 20. And you were like 40 when you had her, so she would have born, or when she was born. So she would have born in, would have been born in 1850 something. Eighteen nineteen. Woof, dude. This is tough. Eighteen nineteen. Lilith Smith. Okay, so her first name ends in a vowel. So. You were between 37 and 42 when she was born. So, like. She would have to be born in 1853. At the latest. 1853. But none of these people were born in the 1850s. Because where the hell is your grave? She's not buried next to any of your sisters. Thirty-seven to forty-two when she was born, and like the oldest people here, Rebecca Smith, eighteen hundred. Any other Smiths? Okay, Rebecca Smith, eighteen hundred to eighteen ninety-five. She was ninety-five when she was born. Great. So eighteen thirty-seven to 1842. Great. 1837 to 1842. Okay. Could be Pamela. Couldn't be Becky. Could be Leslie. Could be Leslie. Could be Pamela. 1822 to 1859. You're not buried next to any of your daughters, which would have been 1822. So it can't be Leslie. Can't be Pearl. Or it can't be uh, Pamela. Great. Penelope. Could be Penelope. 1836. No, because you were 37. Uh, 1838. Could be Patricia. Could be Patricia. I think it's Patricia. Patricia died at the same age as Becky. So that would be 24. That's not 24. Um, Fiona Smith. 1837 to 1842. Can't be Fiona. Can't be Faye. Can't be Linda. Leilani. 1849. Nope, you're too young. Um, can't be you? Can't be you, because that's your daughter. Meredith Smith. Doesn't end in a vowel. Magdalene. 1840 to 1863. 23. 38. 38. Died at the same age as Becky.
knit her a sweater the year before she died. The year before you died? Uh, 37 to 42. Her name was longer than her last. She wasn't buried next to any of your daughters. Past of the age is poor Becky. She knit me a lovely set of sweater for Crimbo the year before she died. And you outlived all of them. You outlived all of them. So that doesn't really help. Can't be faith. Can't be fidelity. Can't be fair. Um, okay, it could be... 38, 23. So where's Becky? Uh, first Becky. <laughs> where's first Becky? Um, Mezzo Becky, 1838 to 1888. That's 50 years. Poor, poor Becky. Leilani, Fiona, first Becky Smith. 1837 to 1895. That's, f or 75. That's 38. 38. You only lived for five years. That's awful. Um, 38. That's 24. Is there a Becky that lived into to age 24? What happens if I fail this? Dude. Did her name start with a... Not Patricia. Oh boy. Wait. Maybe she'll be over it by tomorrow? Oh my god. This is awful. Okay, we're reasonably sure she's dead. They got him coming and going. Dink Scotch Turkison. Some decent whiskey. Old Dead Tom, Fred Deeks. Some patent emetic. Wow. Died as he lived screaming. <laughs> Riding boots, maximum action points, and three speed. Oh my. I'd rather have the three action points right now. Uh, inventor of the external combustion engine. Remains of a picnic. A gothic cameo. Spooky resistance. All right. We're finding all kinds of good stuff in this, in this area here. Um, I'm glad we came here. And we're not a professional sword swallower. I love it. All the bits we could find. Open the door. Read the document. Describes a tontine, the burial wishes of Chet Busterly in a weird sequence of legend. B T L I T R. A key fragment. B T L I T R. B T L I T R. O H L. G A G. Dude. Gonna have to write this stuff down too. B T L I T R. And what was the next one? O H L G A G. O H L G A G. Okay. Huh. Take the objects. It's another key. Alright. And here. Crack it. O I E H T E. O I E H T E. Okay. Good stuff. Huh. And I'll take the object. Another key fragment. Fabulous. Ooh. Ill. No. Not sure. Not sure. Let's check plot three here. Uh, yet still further in. Dig it up. Skull Chips. Perletta Fink. Territorial scoffing champion. <laughs> Ran for mayor right off a cliff. Lucky Vinnie Pike 1864 is not dead yet. 
Gina Slapradish ate too many wasps, embroidered herself to death. You know, the one, yeah, him, that one guy. Most strikingly rat-faced man any of us had ever seen. Handful of loose teeth. Skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening. Hi, my name's Bernard, but shush, lower your voice, they'll hear us. Who, the cultists? Yeah, not a fan. The reanimating dead people's skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated. It sounds horrible. Can you imagine having to walk around without your skin on? How embarrassing, not to mention coal. Plus, I mean, dying is hard enough. Who wants to come back to life when you got used to being dead, right? Please, can you do something? I don't want him to find me. Okay, I'll let you know when it's safe. All right, you hang back, man. You hang back. I'll take care of these cultists. I'm going to crab walk right over. Um, dispel them. Susan Boingstrom, buried with a treasured collection of dog ears. Let's see what happens. You hide behind a tombstone on Wade. As the skeleton arrests itself from the cultist's control and goes on a rampage. Bones and teeth fly everywhere, and none of them belong to the skeleton, if that gives you any indication of how the fight turns out. Satisfied with the carnage, the skeleton scratches something into the ground and then shuffles off to the south. Yikes. Horrifying concepts of, of Tex Nex. Nex Max? Uh, nothing left but boots and teeth. Nice lady, but an unfortunate name. A burned scroll. Scroll's in bad shape. You can't make out anything new, but you're convinced this must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. Fabulous. Nothing but three bedrolls and a stale smell. Grutch. Grutch. Okay, well. The cultists are gone. Let's go tell our skelly friend. Let's go tell our skelly friend. Hello. They're gone, man. They're gone. I took care of them. I got a worry stone. It's plus six moxie in your offhand. Offhand is filthy porcelain cow. I mean, I like that. The cow is really good, just damage bonus. Um, but yeah, I mean, the worry stone could be very helpful. The moxie bonus could be nice. Fantastic. Okay. So right now, I'm looking at this BTLITR OHLGHE. O I E H T E. Re. No. B O O T. Boot. Hmm. Oh. Boot. Hill. Uh. Boot Hill. E I G H. Eighth Boot Hill E I G H T H Eighth T E Tree Boot Hill H Eighth Tree Okay Uh one two three four five six seven eight Yeah Keyhole in the trunk of the tree um, I should, I have all these keys, key fragments. Assemble the key. Voila, indeed. Open up the tree. Tontine treasure chest. An unbreakable ruby. A lone but extremely large gemstone. And a document describing a tontine. Which I won without even signing up for, lol. <laughs> Sell for 2,000 meat. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Reboot hill. Almost complete. We just got to figure out who that lady's granddaughter is. Uh, my transpotter. Yes. Give me more of these pieces. All right. Wow. Bang, bang, bang. Wow. Chop. Yay. All right. Uh, Elver brought our scraps. I like it. The West Pole. Um, harvest. Loco weed. Mess with the rocks. Oh. Could probably make an interesting cairn out of them. Hmm.
Okay. Something mystical. An elaborate orrery. Song of the Spheres. Uh, character. Song of the Spheres. Plus five spell damage. What if I knock it over? Okay, it's pretty much the same. Um, what if I made something powerful? An impregnable tower. I got a heart of stone. Heart of stone. Right, wrong one again. Um, maybe extra HP is what that gives me? Is, it would be my guess. Yeah, max, max HP. Something suave. A cheeky gesture. Heavy trigger finger. Heavy trigger finger. Pistol attack damage. What if I made a second? No? Okay, we'll knock it over. What if I made something mystical and made a sigil? Looks very occult. Okay, so I guess I just... I get to keep all these. Um, that's fine. Alright. What if I made something... A, a tall stack? Yeah, and then I made... A, an impregnable tower again. What if I made them all impregnable towers? Something powerful. Okay. Impregnable Towers. Well, who knows? Okay, still good stuff. The West Pole. Um, Hellstrom Ranch we haven't been to yet. Been to like every place up there. Let's go to Hellstrom Ranch. See what we can find. Uh, well, we can find a needle. That's awesome. Burnt up barn, a real barn burner of a party. Uh, so what's the deal with that? Is this just summon cows? Oh no. This is fine, let's just chop him to death. No reason to spend our time summoning beans when we can just chop this fool to death. All right, whap. Okay. It's a portal to hell. Okay. Great. Lucky horseshoe. Plus six pistol attack damage. So this is just a place to do battle with cows whenever we want, I suppose. Good. I'll take it. Um, where to next? Let's wander. There's got to be something here, right? Uh, free meat. Come on, goblin. Come on. Um, I'm going to outfox you. Thanks for the XP. <laughs> All right. Dude, I love being able to just outfox. That's so nice. Dig it up with your shovel. Good stuff. Uh, let's go to Fort Memor Memorium. Guess we'll fight. Grab a bean real quick. Easy peasy. Bang! Dude, bean, please don't attack that top one. Attack one of the other ones. Oh, bean, you're the worst. Oh, bean. Alright, are you gonna die? No, of course you're not. And the bean's gonna attack that one next. Dude, you can't touch my bean. He's too powerful. He's too powerful. Chop. Yeah. Oh, you're not dead? Well, we'll see about that. All right. Fire moccasin skin. Good stuff. So I want to go here, and I want to go here, and I want to use my binoculars. Really? Nothing? Nothing whatsoever? Weak. 
quite weak. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the Fort of Darkness. Madness Maw Mine. Let's go there now. All right. Uh, anything to harvest? Oh. You aren't one of us. Be gone from this place, interloper. Nobody uses the word. Nobody good uses the word interloper. Well, um, get outfoxed. What makes you say that? Well, I don't recognize you, but how could you possibly recognize anyone with the mask and robes? It's probably just because you've never seen me without the mask on. Okay, I'm gonna put on the cultist mask because clearly that's what we're working on right now. Um, hats, cultist mask, plus six mysticality is pretty good too. All right, harvest, harvest, and in we go. Cultist ignores you. Good. Okay. Um, dude, you guys are guys are oh look at this did, did I come out of here yes dense bean iron nice okay nothing here would we had to have fight would we had to have fought like all of these oh look at that there's something on the wall there no okay dear Jeff the big guy says to stay out of here praise be Roberto sincerely Jeff Many Jeffs, I suppose, in this place. Ladder leading down. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. El Vibrato cylinder. And punch cards. And scraps. Look at all this stuff, dude. Hooray. All right. Great. Well, this was a good find. I like this. Anything over here? Did I already check? I did. Um, dude, I like your square mask. I want that one. I want your square mask instead of my regular mask. Uh, okay. Well, cultists all taken care of. That's nice. We have a lot of scraps, so we could make a couple of batteries, which is cool. I think we'll go do that and then see what happens. Um, hats, please. I'd like my turnip crown back. And uh, let's go back to the professor's house. Uh, take it. Some dynamite. I love it. Dude, dynamite's way good. It's just 20 damage no matter who you're fighting. Um, okay, professor. I found this weird cylinder. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. Um, fabricate two batteries, please. And then let's go to the well. And we'll be able to do some stuff there. Dude, we're getting so much done. Fight him. Two skeletons? Get out of here. Get sawed, buddy. Skeletal rifleman. It looks like he's got a pistol to me, but oh well. I, I, I won't judge. Uh, attack. Whap. All right. Good stuff. And... Continuing to the well. We got more language that we can learn here. This is awesome. Uh, through here. Put in a punch card. Corruption and time squeezer. Facility and chrono key. Temperature and sustenance. Updated Roberto containment. says Hotata. Alright. We can put a battery in here. Right? No? Okay, so where do we go now? Oh, look at this. I love it. Um, where else could we go? Let's go to the Lost Dutch Oven Mine. We can put batteries in there. Hopefully. Um, but we have to put the freaking... Uh, stench resist. Okay. And then we can put back on the, uh, the turnip crown. All right. Head all the way down 
and see if we can use any batteries there. I don't think we needed any keys down here. So let's check it out. Okay, we'll just do a quick hand walk over here. It'd be very easy. Yeah, yeah. And in we go. Insert a battery, nice. Gain an effect, energized. You learn the El Vibrato word for south and decrease. Whoa, dude, that's awesome. Muscle, mysticality, and moxie, all plus four. Insert a power sphere. Screen says Cholacho offline. There's a button at the bottom named Jose V. Cholacho. Cholacho Vega. Okay, we could always fight more guys to make more stuff. I think that's not a bad idea, but let's see what the deal with this is. Replace it with the cylinder. It's purring like a kitten. Giant, untrustworthy, alien, mechanical kitten. No Koro Central Nonok Bay Zevisam Vega. Okay. We've got ourselves another cylinder. Weird. Okay. This is good, though. Um, push the second one. Let's get a whole bunch of scrap, shall we? Like, I think this is a good idea. Um, we, we might even be able to handle the even higher level one, which I think is worth a try. We want to pass a day anyway, so... Um, eh, I don't think that's worth it. Ooh, you're so dead. Very good. Yeah, that's not that much damage. Good stuff. We might even have enough to uh, increase our lock picking by this point. So I think that's worth a try. Yeah, let's try the level three. Ooh, we got a keystone and a complicated punch card. Uh, how much experience do we have? Yes, we've got a ton of experience. Okay, so lock picking, upgrade. Great. Activate the third one. Let's try. It's a lot of guys, but we've got a bean friend. We've got a bean shield. We've got a bean wall. And I could lower all of their stats. No, it's just targets. Um. Ah. This is so much better damage. Is there anything that we could actually kill? 58. Well, we're likely. Yeah, if we hit you, then our shotgun blast will kill you. And then hopefully we can survive this attack. Because our bean's going to get one. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Go bean. Nice. Um, and then... Yeah, we'll finish you off. Because our bean does do more damage. And our bean should be able to get kills now. Nice. Whiff. Dead. I should be able to get kills too. Dead. Bang, bang, bang. So yeah, this is a way to get like a lot of scrap, which is good. I'm very glad. We even got a keystone out of it, which is really nice. Um, and punch cards, fantastic. Let's do another, let's maybe do like two more big fights. Ooh, you're new. 83, huh? All right. Bean shield, bean wall, and uh, 55, yeah, good stuff, shotgun gets the kill there, nice, yeah, you can't hurt my wall, fool, that's right, that's right, nice work, bean, 
All right, get this guy. Finish him off. Bang, bang. Dude, that is quite a bean. That is quite a bean. I'm gonna summon another bean wall here. Um, just in case, you know, just in case. I think we're okay. <laughs> All right. More punch cards. All right, I'm gonna do one more. And then we'll go turn in some punch cards once again. Uh, get this. Get this. Get this. And attack. 57, 56, 56. 55. Could actually potentially kill that. We want one that we're guaranteed to not kill, but almost kill. That's our most efficient move. Bang! Alright. Dude, stop it with the Zappos. Oh, my bean. When the bean takes 20 damage, though, that's kind of dangerous. Uh, 42, we're guaranteed to kill here. I like it. Good stuff. Go Bean! Yeah! Alright. You done. Very nice. More punch cards. And another keystone. I love it. Alright. So that's good stuff. Let's go back to the well. Turn in our things. Uh, I'll tell you what I think about your stone rings. 32 XP is what I think. And uh, let's turn in these punch cards. So can I turn this, I did turn this on. Oh. Oh. Education facility. That must be where I learned the language, right? Yeah, okay. Small punch card. Whoa, small punch card. Whoa, punch card. Punch card. Punch card. Large punch card. Punch card. Punch card. Walk away. All right. See if we can learn anything else here. So, fabrication. Equipment fabrication. Auditory nuisance complainment, containment. Well, okay. This should take us to a new spot now, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So we can create guys here and fight them too. Not super necessary. When we can make, like, better fights for us elsewhere. Um, but that's pretty cool. Okay. Although this does allow us to, um... To, like, immediately get punch cards. Take them here and learn something. Yeah, system and detected. So we can put those in there, learn something, come back here. Equipment fabrication. An El Vibrato ring. And an El Vibrato brooch. Plus 11 armor. Make vibrato encounters more likely. Dude, 11 armor is pretty good. Oh, I've been putting scraps in. Okay, that's fine. How many scraps do I have left? Not, not many. That's a bummer. <laughs> um, but that's cool. We can sell that. Uh, some sort of storage. Keystone, nice. We got a battery and some seltzer. A whining El Vibrato object. S some scraps. Battery and some fluid. Nice. Okay, that's really good. Uh, and then auditory nuisance containment. It's just booping. Just booping. Press it. South Poo Poo. <laughs> Still have an hour and a half at work, Zeke. Oh no! Oh no! 
Um, South Poo Poo. South Camilla. Corruption detected. Terminal resets. Okay. Okay, so this is all kind of fresh and new. We do have some more batteries, which is very cool. Um, and where can we put them? Where else have we found the West Pole? No. It was the, um, the Curious Cops. Yes. Better than North Poo Poo, I suppose. Yeah, let's trade. I got some stuff I can sell you, for sure. Um, I've got to sell you this, uh, El Vibrato ring. El Vibrato ring. We don't need two of them, for sure. Um, wow. El Vibrato sel seltzer is great. Okay. Anything else that we want to sell? Let's go to the most expensive stuff first. Um, sack of meat nuggets. Yeah, dude. I'm going to keep it, though. I'm not sure if we're going to have to trade it for something. Moon bits. Okay. Turnip crown, of course. The sweet sword. Uh, honestly, maybe not that much to sell. Bit of a bummer. But I'd love to get rid of lots of stuff. <laughs> We're going to keep the weird knife because that seems important too. Uh, dents, no, we want to keep those. Keep those. Riding boots, yeah. Uh, we have lots of smoldering leather. I don't know, man. I don't know what's worth selling anymore. Um, nothing. Do you have anything great? Nah, not really. Some needles. All right, we got 29 needles or something like that. I don't think we're gonna need any more. Uh, okay, back to the cops. Fight it anyway. Hello, Snakeo. I hope you're ready for being chopped. Chop! Excellent. All right. Okay. Dead Snakeu. And an electric snake skin. Nice. All right. We go here. Uh, we, we, we probably start beeping. Yeah, let me in. Good stuff. Okay. Batteries. Oh, it's all turned on, dude. All right, put a battery in there. We got energized again. Solar and adjustment. This is amazing. Can I have some coffee? No? What if I tried this? Oh. Fluid pipeline. Select source. Wow. Um. <laughs> I have no idea what that is doing. I have not a single clue. Uh, we'll get back there with more, with more, uh, language learned at some point, I'm sure. Um, is there anywhere else that needs batteries? I don't feel like I've found any more of these anywhere else. But we did increase our lock picking, so we can now go get this. And wasn't there one other thing that required lock picking level three? Hmm, I don't remember what it was, though. Oh, no. All right, well, unlock. All right. The best love poem ever written. So good you're afraid to even read it because you might fall in love with the book. Rich vein, poor vein. Vain glorious. All right. Gold medal silversmithing. Expert silversmithing. 
Happy birthday, Mr. Postman. Um, expert silversmithing. Can make extra silver bullets when crafting them. Great. That's good. That's really great. Um, so we're done here. Where was the other level three lock? Was it down in the, um, in the, uh, buffalo hole? Or was it down in the Madness Mom Mine? I don't remember. I don't remember. All right. Well, let's go back to, um... Let's go back to the buffalo pile. I think I can make this thing work now. Um, I mean, we might as well, right? We can handle anything that this game, that, that this section's gonna throw at us, at least. Um, all right. We can relearn this stuff. Leave this lab alone. Um, I mean, let's fight. Let's fight some of these guys, because we want to level up Alice as well. She, I feel like she hasn't leveled up as much as I'd like her to. And fighting Skellies is the only way to do it, so... Get these guys out of here. Okay. Oh, the wall, though. The wall. You're dead, right? Nice. All right. Finish this guy off. Our bean did nothing. It's okay. All right. Just a bunch of meat. That's fine. Um, leave the shells alone, go through here, and, uh, we got a high- oh, that was a toilet I could dig through. Alright, wait, so, it's, I- uh, Icker before blood, bad idea, bud. Milk after blood, ritual's a dud. Icker after milk, ritual's so smooth as silk. Milk, blood, Icker? Blood before milk, as obsolete as the word thilk. Blood before icker, start the soldier's ticker. Milk blood icker. Milk blood icker. It all works so far. Milk before blood, ritual is good. Milk blood icker. Yeah. Yeah. Milk blood icker. Um... Oh, yeah, it was that. It was, it was totally that. It was totally that. Um, but either way, milk, blood, icker. Uh, beaker of buffalo reanimating fluid. <laughs> Foul bubbling fluid that you concocted from the ingredients in those giant vats at Buffalo Pile. We can collect some lemonade. Oh, uh, we don't have anything to collect it in. No. All right, leave the slab alone. Um, so leave the shelves alone. All right. It was this foot locker that was a, a level three locked as well. There we go. A discipline slip. Uh, looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Exciting. Um, don't need to go in there, but this, yes. Buffalo soldier diagram and an old engagement ring. Just sell it. Um, detailed diagram of those buffalo human skeleton things they've been making a buffalo pile. Necromancer journal. Receipt uh, for delivery of robes. Past Boulder Pass, west of the mountains, good to know. Progress! Hell Cow Energy, near that crazy portal. Oh, if only you knew more about mycology. So we could ask about the main quest. Grutch? Grutch! I've seen that. I've seen that before. I've seen it before. I do want to see what. Oh my god. There's a lot of guys. 
It's a lot of dudes. Oh boy. Okay. Um, put up a bean wall. Wow, they have a ton of HP. Oh my god. Um... I think this is worth it. But maybe saving up for an extra bean wall is better. Okay, and you just saw one of these guys to death. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared. But this seems like a great way to um, to get some levels and skeleton bonuses too. This is oh well, they're not hitting though. That's nice. Awesome, dude. Go bean. Go bean. All right. Continue sawing. Get this other one. Nice work, Doc. I love it. I love it. Wow. I mean, they got my wall, but they haven't been able to do anything else. This is great. That guy's dead. I love it. Um, attack uh, this one, please. Whap. And then saw this one, I suppose. Yeah, this is good. All the skellies are dead. Well, that one will be shortly, at least. As soon as the bean gets a hold of it, bam. Okay, pretty easy fight, all things considered. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, this is really great, actually. I should have attacked the other one. Oh well, bang. Ah, no, we did need to do that. Bam. Choppy chop and shooty shoot. Bang, bang. And uh, get your bean on. Yeah. Let's get your bean on. Unlimited bones. The bones of the buffalo pile are at your disposal. Huh. <laughs> you, you wait for somebody to enter the room so you can eavesdrop, but nobody shows up because they're all dead. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> That's hysterical. All right, what's in the lemonade? One third full of lemonade. A beaker of lemonade. Wow, it's super good. Huh. don't like mil milk very much <laughs> so you pour it down the great okay how about blood all right well we'll take a beaker anyway um, I wonder if these would open up like over the course of a day you know Okay, great. These shelves are filled with hundreds of crates, each full of buffalo and human bones. If you need some bones or bits of bones or teeth... <laughs> I'm not stopping if we get a few miles down the road and suddenly you and your brother say you need some bones. Grab the bones for a soldier. Grab them bones. Pretty much set on bones. Put the bones on the slab. Do it. What's your name? Buffalo. 
You didn't let me finish. <laughs> Sorry, go on Buffalo Buffalo. He pauses for several seconds. Okay, pleased to meet you, Buffalo Buffalo. What? You still didn't let me finish. Go on then. Buffalo Buffalo Buffalo. So your name is Three Buffaloes? Bill. Your name is Bill? My name is Buffalo 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 Bill. Pay attention. I love this. So can you remember anything? I remember eating grass. I remember shooting. Lots of shooting and people cheering. Sounds accurate. I guess I'll just wander around and try to find a purpose. You can travel with us. Since you already killed the folks responsible for the place, I wouldn't mind following you. Great. Fantastic. We got a buffalo bud. Cool. All right. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. Hey, girl. Um, what the holy crap is this? <laughs> uh, okay. Am I forgetting about anything? Roy Bean. We need the jelly beans. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, if we go to character, we can now upgrade our outfoxen. And, uh... What else do we want to upgrade? I'm gonna upgrade. Oh, dirty poker. Awesome. Um, safe Kraken? Blood beans? Dude, blood beans seems really good. 11 HP per round. I love it. That's, that's like nice. That's just a nice little boost. And now we can go to the jelly bean thieves and we can outfox them. Hey, goblin. I got overly tanned boots. Ooh, boots with plus seven moxie? Dude, though. That's awesome. All right. Uh, okay. I will, I will defeat you with science. Listen, I'm from the Federal Horrible Wildlife Bureau. You fellas didn't steal a jar of jelly beans. You stole a jar of rare south of the border rainbow earwig eggs. Roy was holding them in quarantine for me till I could pick them up for questioning. If you don't hand them over before they hatch, you're all gonna have things like a rhinoceros beetle married a banana slug burrowing into your brain before morning. Now, how about it? Good. Goodbye. Ooh, what's in their shack? It's the missing beans. Sugar gun, sarsaparilla, hog oil, quartz fit headband. Wow, plus four speed and maximum HP. Bar of soap and tooth powder. And 10 dynamite, my goodness. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring the beans back to Roy Bean's house. 53 XP, I love it. All right, Roy Bean. I've got your jelly beans. Do you have my justice? Oh, I found a letter addressed to you. Thanks anyway. I did get the jelly beans. Um, second jar of jelly beans was stolen by a passel of them weird goblin fellas. Which way'd they go? Northwest, towards that huge old cactus folks call Old Grandad. Alright. Let's go to Old Grandad. Oh, dude. We can use a keystone. Five scraps and a punch card. I love it. Look at the size of that thing. It's so big. Oh, we can go inside the cactus. This is where goblins live. Talk to them. I'm here for taking back a jar of jelly beans, you goblin stealing. Jelly beans, little colorful sugar things. Oh, little fruit rocks. Yeah, those. Those are for the pile. The what? Anyway, no upstairs for a humans. Maybe we can trading? No trading, but you can bribing me. Okay, cool. What are you wanting? A candy bar. A good human candy bar of the bubbles having. You knowing it? Yeah, a bar of soap. Oh, yes. Wonderful thanking you. Okay, bye. What's in here? Pile of goblin junk. And purple goo coming out of the cactus. Um, okay. What can I do for you? You want cactus syrup, a vein being in the other room but had losing my tap.
Um, oh, dude. Okay, make a tap. I got a syrup tap. Tap it. All right, man. You ready? Give the cactus syrup. Hooray! Needing more for proper bribing. It's all tapped out. All right. There you go, buddy. There you go. Thank you. Okay, what do we have in here? Some sort of... Some sort of science lab. A goblin science lab. Uh, what do you need? Bringing me goblin elixir. A potion of extra delicious being. So good. Make a goblin elixir. Um, look for some instructions. It's all in goblin science jargon. Just start mixing things. Start with some... Indigo oil, and then some green fluid, and some pink ooze, and then spit in it. <laughs> you pitch the concoction out the window and duck under a table. Okay, just start mixing things. Orange powder, blue granules, gray juice, stir it. Okay, I got a goblin elixir. All right, here you go, buddy. Yes, perfect. Good, I did it. Oh, look at this. Holy crap, if this isn't the most disturbing thing you've ever seen, I don't want to know what was. <laughs> hey, guys, those jelly beans, can I to having them? Oh, what? Our fruit rocks? No. No, not taking our fruit rocks. Those being ours, not for you taking. Um... But not looking like you're eating them, a jar is still full. What, eating? Fruit rock's not for eating, fruit rock's for looking at. You're just looking at them? Not fitting through floor hole, can't leaving room. Fruit rock's only entertainment being. Good grief, that's sad. Okay, how about I teaching you something else for entertaining? Something better than fruit rock's looking at. Hmm, okay, sounding good, I agreeing. I not certain, what being better than fruit rock's looking at? 20 questions. You teach the goblins how to play 20 questions, and once you get them over the initial hurdle of a goblin being neither animal, vegetable, nor mineral, they pick it up pretty fast. Soon they're so focused on the game, they've stopped paying attention to you entirely. All right, give me the freaking beans. Give me the freaking beans. Get me out of here. All right, Roy Bean. Uh, outfox him. I got a red hot pistol. Red hot pistol. 13 to 17 plus four speed. Ah, uh, plus six moxie is better. All right. Hello. I got him. Goblins didn't need any. No. Um. A gang of hippies. Shroom. Oh, dude. Shroom cave. I need to know about shrooms. Let's go. This is perfect. Kellogg Ranch. No. Keep heading where we're headed. The shroom cave. Mushrooms. Can I pick? No. Loco weed extract, though, man. Okay. Uh, lots of spores going on in here, it looks like. Am I about to have a freak out? I feel like I might be about to have a freak out. Dude, it's grutch. Skeleton bone, skull chips, loose teeth, ashes, sticky note. Sticky note, huh? Uh, note says abracadabra. Abracadaver. And Grutch. Mushroom map. Weird convoluted trail leading to a big X. This very cave. Source of the trail looks like it's right near that weird fort full of dirty weirdos. Weird fort full of dirty weirdos. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the, this game, the descriptors in this game are incredible. Incredible. Um, so the Fort of Darkness must be what they're talking about there. Hippies. Um, okay. A skeleton who's been working out <laughs> will help him. Fort of Darkness and peace signs. Fort of Darkness and peace signs. All these cannons of flowers stuck in the barrels. Hey, hippies. Hi, those are some cool boots you've made. Are they for sale? 
Huh? Oh, uh, no. I mean, I'd like to sell them to you, but they aren't mine. You didn't make them? It's funny how everyone assumes that, but no, these are all made by elves. Yeah, man, like little elf guys. They're hard to see, like, just out of the corner of your eye, you know? But I'll be just kind of standing here and just kind of, and then I'm like, oh, hey, got another pair of boots in my hands. Guess the elves made some more boots. I haven't made a pair of boots myself in, like, I don't know, like a year, years, something. These elves keep making them, though. I don't know why, weird. Um, have you seen any jelly beans? Jelly beans, weird. No, I haven't seen anything like that. Ask the elves, maybe. You should open up a boot store. Huh? A store to sell your boots in. They're not mine, though. They're, right, the elves. But the elves can't be making them just for fun. I think they're making them so you can sell them. Uh, huh, yeah, that makes sense. There's a town called Dirtwater. You could open up a nice shop. Oh, that's a pretty long trip. <laughs> But, like, it'd be dangerous. I'd be worried the elves wouldn't make it, you know? I've got just the thing. It's tiny guns! Tiny guns for the elves! Wow. Wow, what? Look at all these tiny guns. See, with these, the elves will be able to defend themselves on the road to dirt water. Oh, man, that's so weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool. He packs his boots and tools together and heads out of the tent. It'll be kind of amazing if he makes it to dirt water, dirt water but stranger things have happened. I freaking love it. Hello, mushroom hippie. This young lady is dressed in fancy, expensive traveling clothes, though hard wear has made them dirty and ragged. Also, her pupils are about the size of teacups. Wow, hi, a new face. My name's, um, one sec, uh, Irene? <laughs> Everybody here just calls me mushrooms, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene. I'm Schmur. What's your story? Ah, uh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here. Never got around to continuing, you know? We're like a big happy family here, and everyone's so nice and appreciative of how I know so much about mushrooms. Uh-huh, they're, they're good for all kinds of things, if you know which one to pick. If you want, I can sell you a few of my favorites. I have a, a spare pair of mushroom pliers if you want to pick your own. Um, have you seen any jelly beans? <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, I had some jelly beans recently. I don't quite remember. Uh, they were in my lounge. Where's your lounge? I don't remember. It's only there part of the time anyway. Um, do I have the mushroom pliers? Uh, inventory. Um, mushroom pliers. Everything. Sort by A to Z. Uh, H-I-J-K-L-M Mushroom map? No. Okay, I'll take the mushroom pliers. Thank you. I'd share the location of my secret mushroom hunting cave, but I lost my knapsack with my map. Good luck! Okay, thank you, lady. Um, can I use the binoculars up here? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. I already know everything there is to know about this place. Oh, you want some bones? Hi, I'm Schmur. Teeth, teeth, clavicle, femur, teeth. Wow, okay. Um. Have you seen any jelly beans? Teeth, job on, job on, teeth, teeth. Um. Have some bones. Dude, I got a bone sword. You hand her an armload of bones. She starts mechanically picking through them, selecting some and discarding others based on criteria you can't discern. Eventually, having chosen the best two, she secures them together with wire and screws and hands you something that basically looks like a sword. Neat. <laughs> Have some skull chips. You hand her some bone chips, she stops muttering. Her eyes seem to focus a little. She takes some glue out of her toolbox and presses the chips into a ring. Thanks. Whoa. More random encounters with skellies. Spooky damage instead of physical. Okay. Hi, I'm Schmur. Salutation, Schmur. They call me the talking dude because of my extensive knowledge of the principles of philosophy and the arguments and conundrums surrounding its various aspects and interpretations. I'll bet that's not why they call you that. Can I interest you in a discussion of the particulars of curtsy and philosophy, Schmur? Um, have you seen any jelly beans? Well, first, we must take care to define our terms. What does it mean to see jelly beans? And what if I see, uh, what if what I see as jelly beans are different from what you see as? Cut the crap before I cut it for you. Uh, no, I have not. 
But I do know that Irene, the newest of our little clan, is particularly fond of them. You might ask her. Um, do you know where her lounge is? Been there. But for some inexplicable reason, I was never invited to return. Inexplicable. I would self-actualize by returning on my own, but I don't remember where it was, and Todd won't tell me. It's quite frustrating. Um, yeah, let's talk about curtsy and philosophy. Talking dude begins, and you immediately tune out. Blah, 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 which is, of course, a consequence of blah, blah, necessary and sufficient condition, blah. Blah, 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 type versus token, blah, blah. Blah, 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 as opposed to the, the thras, thrasymachus, blah, 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 blah. Uh, ontological argument against blah, blah. Blah, blah, on the other hand, blah, 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 blah. Plato said blah, blah. Uh, fascinating, begging the question, blah, 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 from an epist ep epistemological standpoint, blah, 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 consequence, blah, hedonism is the only choice, blah, 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 categorical, categorical imperative, blah, blah, determinism, oh my god, plus ten mysticality, of course, of course, dude, I'm a Kurtzian philosopher, can I go even further with this, no, all right, that's good. That's fine, actually. I'm very happy with that. Um, hey, hippies. Oh, hello, yes. Hello, yes, hum. I'm Todd. Uh, Schmur, pleased to meet you. So what do you do around here, Todd? I'm a chemist. I've been researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Properties like what? Like how they get you totally wrecked. <laughs> right. I'm kidding. They have a lot of interesting properties that could be a real boon to medicine. They may even hold a solution to many psychological disorders. Well, that's pretty interesting. In fact, they also let you get absolutely smashed. It's just a happy side effect. Ha ha ha! Woo! If you have any Lactarius dirt hip, Dirty Hippica... <laughs> Lactarius Dirty Hippica mushrooms, I can refine them into a more potent potable, i.e. a potion. Hee <laughs> hee! Have you seen any jelly beans? No, <laughs> I'm not interested in jelly beans unless they're the kind of beans that get you completely blasted. I don't think that's a real thing. No, it is. I heard they got them in Frisco. Doesn't seem safe for kids, you know. Um, w how about the lounge? Oh yeah, I do. Don't uh, don't tell the talking dude if you don't mind. But it's in that cave where we get all of our mushrooms. I didn't see any lounge there. It's uh, you gotta be uh. He jerks his thumb at the apparatus behind. Oh, you gotta be messed up. I see. Oh, dude, this woman's rocking back and forth, making a fr 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 sound as she rapidly flaps her lips with her fingers. Have a jaw harp. It's kind of musical instrument. Maybe try the jewel. So yeah, go join the band. Goodbye. Okay, so we got to be messed up. All right. Whoa. This tall, muscular, bald man is leading his students in an aerobic workout. One and two and three and four. Exercise. You must strengthen the body. If the body is weak, the mind cannot be strong. These two are one. I am Kurtz. Oh, can I exercise with you? You do not have the proper attire. Before muscle comes skin, before skin comes clothing. Same striped pants and weird fuzzy headbands. I think I have these things, although I don't know if I kept the pants. Um, pants. Oh, I have Kurt's fit pants on, yes. Um, so a hat, if I put on this headband. Dude, you gotta let me exercise with you now, right? Come on, dude. Can I exercise with you? Yes! Oh, look at me go. Oh, I love it. I love this. This is my new favorite thing. All right, we got a curtsy and physique. Plus 10 muscle. Dude, thank you guys. Thank you. That's awesome. I was already wearing the pants. I can't believe it. Um, and what is it that my pants do? <laughs> uh, kitchen pants. Resistance, armor, and speed. But the Kurtz fit pants. Bonus muscle. I love it. Um, and the, the headband? What does the headband do? Speed and maximum HP. Nah. I'd rather have the turnip crown. Thank you. Alright. Last place in here. Ooh, a gun safe. Crack it. Army issue sidearm. 13 to 17 plus 5 moxie. I don't know, man. Loot it. Chemical bullets. Plot 420. Of course. Of course, plot 420. Cannon loading for idiots. 
book is so rudimentary that it's insulting to your intelligence. <laughs> okay, last thing we're gonna do is plot 420 in uh, the military cemetery, dude. And then that'll be it for today. This is great. Uh, sure, 20 moxie, 32 XP. I love it. I love it. Um, burial plots. Visit a plot. Plot 420. Oh, yeah. Mycology, your ecology. All right. Mycology, your ecology. Pass and fair mycologist. You can identify useful or dangerous mushrooms. Nice. Okay. And then let's go back to the mushroom cave. Um. Pick some mushrooms, see if we can find this lounge. Because we can pick... Oh, we can pick all of these outside, too. Right? Can I pick any of these? No? I bought the mushroom picking things. Let me pick. Aha! You. Harvest it. Lactarius Dirty Hippica. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the mushroom we were looking for, dude. Um, is that it? Oh, nope, there's one. Yeah, nice. And then, Lactarius Dirty Hippica. I can't eat it. I'm gonna have to rest first. That's okay. We want to wait a day anyway, and that's kind of perfect, because we're, we're pretty much done. So let's go back to Dirt Water. Um, we should check out our band as well, right? We've sent a lot of people back to be in the band. Um, and we've also got a new boot store that we can check out. So we'll do that before we go. Um, post office, do we have? Okay, yeah, postcard, postcard limitation act. So we can do that too. Um, hot dogs, leather goods, liquid bread brewing company, Tony's. Tony's Boots. Do your elves make the trip okay? Oh, sure, yeah. No problems, like, at all? I've been seeing them less and less since the move, though, so I've been making some boots myself just to help them out. That's real nice of you. Okay, let me see your boots. Boot polish. Add plus three speed to a pair of boots. Pretty good. 11 spell damage, 2 max AP. Pistol damage, melee damage. Dude, these are good. These are good. How many plots do we have left? Just one. Just one lot left. Um, cool. Look at all this great stuff that we brought to Dirtwater. Ah, oh, man. This is awesome. Let's go into the saloon. Let's scope out this band. Yeah. Oh, this is the kitchen. Stage. Oh, we're missing some peeps. Needed more cowbell. Needed more cowbell. Well, that'll be it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. If you're enjoying this West of Loathing series, then go on and hit that like button. Maybe comment and subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. I can't wait to play more West of Loathing. And I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.